my little brother Trevor today. Doing some glassing. It's been horrible, fogged in all season long. But the other day I was up here two days ago and the fog lifted just enough that I saw. I heard it all count in this little opening up here. Couldn't make it yesterday, so I sent Trevor and he got a glimpse of the cows. But the blood wasn't with him, so we don't know if he's already left or not. But we're back today. The fog's just starting to lift. We'll see what happens. Okay. He's got one spotted. The way you're looking, he's way too far up there. <laughs> we'll have to get a lot closer. It's kind of clear for a second. Travis and Trevor came up with a plan to split up and set up at different angles. If the bull stood out for Trevor, he would take the shot. If it stood out for Travis, he would take the shot. In this scenario, the bull stood out for Travis. Well, just got that big sucker, I think. Found him three days ago. I didn't get a good look at him. Fog rolled just through, and I saw a frame. I couldn't make it yesterday, so I sent Trevor up. And Trevor, he, the bull wasn't with the cows. He, The cows were out in the opening, and the bull was not. And he let go a little five point, but then he heard a nicer one, a nicer sounding one bugle in the timber. So we both came back this morning to kind of attack it, sat at two different angles, and I got a shot at a thousand sixty seven. I don't like shooting that far, I really don't, but I practiced that a lot, and uh, conditions were just absolutely perfect. Otherwise, I wouldn't have chanced it. Hit him, and the bull ran down the hill. I was able to get a follow-up shot at 1033 and that one looked like a good that one looked like a good solid uh, shot right in the vitals when I rewatched the, the footage 
And so I think we got ourselves a dead seven by seven up there. He's a he's a dandy bull. Okay. Well, me and Trevor headed up the hill here, and it's always deceiving when you're shooting up at an angle, because it you know the trees are so tall they're always further up than you think. And so we were just looking for the place that we last saw him. And I think actually now that I look at it, that's where he came off the cliffs there. But we both spotted him at the same time. There he is, dead. That last shot was 1,033. It looked like it went right through the heart. I can't wait to get my hands on this thing. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Oh man, he's an eight point. Look at the size of that bull. Look at that last shot. We got up here and found this beast. I couldn't be happier. This thing. Is just this is a bull that's eluded me for two years. We saw him, got a glimpse of him last year. He had two identical kickers that looked like this, so that's how I know he's the same bull. And uh, never saw him again. Came up here three days ago, and it was super foggy. And as the fog rolled through, I was glassing this little tiny opening, and I got a glimpse of this guy. But all I could see was the ivory points. I didn't know what he had. I just knew he's a mature bull. So I knew we had to kind of hit it until we saw what he was, and and uh, Trevor sent him up here yesterday because I couldn't come. And he saw some cows, but the bull wasn't with him, but he, he did hear the bull give off a bugle in the timber. And so we knew he was here, so he hit it again this morning. And Trevor and I set up in two different areas. He was at a different angle, a little closer, and uh, I was at a distance. And I knew if the conditions weren't perfect, I wasn't going to chance it, but this bull walked out, um, hit him. The bull ran down the hill and turned broadside at 1,033. And I think it was like 21.25 MOA. So it was a full revolution on the scope, really cranked up there. And uh, when I rewatched the footage, I shot and the bull just disappeared. And when I rewatched the footage, it was just, it looked like it was just money. It was just perfect right behind the shoulder on the other side right there and uh, so I was real confident that he was down but I didn't actually see him so we snuck up here real quiet just in case we had to finish him off and he was laying here dead he only went maybe 20 yards from my last shot so just an absolute beautiful bull I was actually hoping Trevor was gonna get it <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll take it well we got word that Travis and Trevor are up here skin out at a big bull so we're we got the pack boards and going to help out pack. Excited? Very excited. Dad probably thought when he got older he didn't have to pack meat anymore, but he seemed to just call him more now. He's on another adventure with us. Long day. Good day's work. Yeah. Nice work. Hope he's edible. Yeah. Pretty good. There's only a couple days left to season. And uh, I told, I was telling you this is a sucky tag, and now I eat my own words. It is a sucky tag. Very fortunate. Very few and far to come by bulls this size. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe for more stuck and rip videos. And thank you for watching.